First up, the women's Kieran. We're going to see plenty of action. Right, heat two. Let's have a look. The Adnap favourite is uh, probably the rider from New Zealand, Elise Andrews. Elise Andrews very confidently just allowing uh, those two riders, Orban and Asri, to develop a lead. But then here we go. I think this is what uh, Elise Andrews was banking on. Leanna Hargreave coming round and hitting the front. Taking the New Zealander with her now. So Australia's Brianna Hargrave. And the favourite to move into the front. Sarah Orban has got it all to do here from Canada, as has Millie Tanner though. Tanner alongside Orban and Hargrave as Elise Andrews now takes it up for New Zealand and she's going to ride them all off her wheel. Look at that turn of pace from Andrews. Already home and hosed. She is qualified. It's the battle for second place at the moment between Hargrave and Orban and it goes the way of Australia. Well, that's what we had predicted in regards to the results. Andrews first and Brianna Hargrave from Australia also making it straight through as all other riders will contend in a rapid charge to make it through to the next round of the Kieran. As we move on to heat four, Christina Clonan is definitely the favourite here, along with Sophie Capral, who finally got her bronze medal that she'd been yearning for from England. Uh, Shuki, Shushikala Agashe of India, Olivia King of New Zealand, Iona Moya and uh, Rianne Edmonds make up the six riders in Heat 4. Olivia King coming around the outside in the black of New Zealand. Rianne Edmonds of Wales alongside her, but the two favourites are on the front. Christina Clonan and Sophie Capo. Capo has the best line here. The home crowd are loving this in London. Well, here comes Iona Moya. Well, she's just been squeezed out there by the Welsh rider of Edmonds. So it's in full flight now for the English in Australia. They'll take one too. Oh, strong finish there from Rian Edmonds, but she doesn't get there. And the strongest two riders go through. The heat is won by Sophie Capewell of India. And the second rider over the line was indeed Christina Clonan. And uh, this is the lineup of riders who have made their way through by rights. Mitchell, Andrews of New Zealand, Jenna, the next Canadian, Sophie Capral, the only English rider through, Alessia McCaig and Brianna Hargrave and Christina Clonan, all of Australia, and Emma Finucane, the sole representative from Wales. So that's a very strong uh, ride up into the second round. We go back to the women's Kieran competition and into the second round. There are two heats upon us now. Heat two, then, the final uh, heat of the second round. Three riders will go through. Christina Clonan and, and Alessia McCaig of Australia. Uh, Lorian Genet of Canada. Millie Tanner of England, who uh, rode very strongly in repechage to come through. Elise Andrews will be the favourite to go through here. And Rianne Edmonds from Wales also coming through repechage. As uh, the Derny pulls away, and Elise Andrews wanted to control this from the front. Remember, the first three go through. So on the inside there... Edmonds just getting squeezed by the Australian. So the two Australians looking in a good position at the moment. Yeah, it's Clonan on front and McCaig on her wheel. That's the order of the two Australian riders. But Elise Andrews is leading from the front. And here comes Janae with a powerful kick around the outside. She wants to finish in the top three to go through to the final. Take the bell. And uh, Rianne Edmonds is still in a wonderful position there on the wheel of the New Zealanders. McCaig is beginning to fade from the Australians, but there's a big charge from Janae, the Canadian. Edmonds, though, still perfectly placed. Andrews takes it, Tanner coming with a charge. It's Wales, England and New Zealand to go through. Well, that is a fantastic ride by the English and the Welsh to come through in front of the Australians. And Janae from Canada misses out on that 1-6 to six final. We've got two riders qualifying there who came through the repechage in Rian Edmonds and Millie Tanner. Elise Andrews, the third rider to qualify, having won the heat. Here's the big one, though. Kelsey Mitchell, the sole Canadian. Two riders from England, Sophie Capewell and Millie Tanner. Elise Andrews uh, from New Zealand, also one of the big favourites alongside Kelsey Mitchell, and two qualifiers, Emma Finucane and Rian Edmonds from Wales. Both Millie Tanner and Rian Edmonds came through the repechage. Here we go, pistol fires, first time this time, and we get underway. It's the Kieran final. Well, Finucane takes to the Derny. Kelsey Mitchell dripping a long way off the back there and then it's rolling to take her position on the wheel of Sophie Capewell. Well, 
and she'll be keeping an eye on Cape Fallon and Andrews from New Zealand. But the Derny will do another two laps and reach a speed of 45 kilometers per hour and then peel off the track. And at that point, I would expect Kelsey Mitchell to make her move towards the front. Emma Finucane with her teammate, Rianne Edwards from Wales on her wheel. Millie Tanner already looking very aerodynamic on the wheel of uh, Edmonds, and a little bit of a gap to Elise Andrews of New Zealand. Yeah. Capewell with Mitchell on her wheel. Elise Andrews is in a, a good position here. Again, uh, Elise Andrews checking over her shoulder there, just allowing a little bit more of a gap uh, to develop. To come with a rush now, watch out for the Kiwi rider. Wales have control, Finucane then, with Edmonds, Edmonds, is sprinting past Finucane, Finucane then latching onto the front. This is the tactic now, Finucane trying to prize Edmonds clear, and Wales taking this on from the front. Rian Edmonds, this is the race of her life, but here they come, here the big guns come! It's Elise Andrews up on the outside, Sophie Capewell on her wheel, Finucane still battling on, Wales, uh, Wales melts away a little bit as Kelsey Mitchell sprints past them. Capewell now closing the gap to Elise Andrews. Capewell on the wheel of the New Zealander. Mitchell, has she got the kick to go again? They sprint for the line. Capewell throws the bike, but Elise Andrews holds on to take another gold medal for New Zealand. Another gold medal for Andrews. Capewell takes silver, and Kelsey Mitchell is relegated to a humbling bronze medal in that company by her own imperious standards. Andrews busted. It was brilliant. Now, at least Andrews had the perfect position there, and she can thank Capewell for holding off Kelsey Mitchell, the form of Capewell, to take that silver medal and to hold off Kelsey Mitchell, really protected Elise Andrews on that long, long ride to the finish. She had to do two laps on the front, but absolutely great tactics and predictions from both Andrews and Capewell. Kelsey Mitchell settling for a bronze medal. Elise Andrews, the smile we've seen so many times throughout this competition. She has come here with fine form, well-deserved gold medal there for Elise Andrews of New Zealand. Gold medal number two for Elise Andrews. She's been scintillating at these games, scintillating. <laughs> <laughs> and a rueful smile from Kelsey Mitchell as she waved goodbye to this uh, London crowd. Well, here's the replay. Elise Andrews did what she had to do, hit out long from the front. And Capo just moving Kelsey Mitchell onto the hip, protecting that victory for Elise Andrews. And then being so strong in the home straight, she holds on to silver. Even though Kelsey Mitchell was on the wheel for most of the ride, was unable to have the form to come over the top of Capewell and Elise Andrews. It was a curiously empty performance from Kelsey Mitchell. Nonetheless, a bronze medal for the Canadian. And a, another fantastic goal for New Zealand to celebrate. Elise Andrews is just so calm, isn't she? Calm, cool and collected. Well, when it's going your way, Rochelle, when the form's good, everything seems possible, doesn't it? And the pressure just seeps away. Yeah, that's right. She's just trying to uh, remove some of that lactic acid in her legs. Confirmation of the women's Kieran and final results. Gold medal to Elise Andrews from New Zealand. Silver medal goes to Sophie Capewell of England. And Kelsey Mitchell picks up another medal. This time, though, it is bronze from Canada. Elise, triple gold. <laughs> How do you even sum this campaign up? Oh, I honestly, I'm very, I'm so overwhelmed. Like, I came here obviously wanting to do my absolute best and leave everything out on the track, but I never could have um, imagined that this would be the final outcome. You were leaving nothing to chance out there today. It looked like every single time the couple of laps would be remaining and you just absolutely sent it. Is that, was that your game plan from the start? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, um, I like to put my position, myself in a position to win and um, I think to do that you have to do it in every round you need to qualify in the first and the second and then make it to the final so you know I'm racing every race like it's my last just to ensure I can make it through the rounds. Well, you, you absolutely did that. Talk me through your pre-race mindset though because 
it looked like you were smiling, you were singing, you looked relaxed, comfortable. Were you even nervous today? <laughs> um, I think today um, I was really relaxed. Um, I just wanted to come out here and have some fun. I've been so um, happy with my um, campaign with the last few days. And of course I wanted to go as hard as I could today, but it was most important for me that I had fun I enjoy myself because you're in such a good relaxed mindset when you're thinking about that kind of stuff and the rest of the race just follows. Gold medalist and Commonwealth Games champion, New Zealand, Ellis Andrews. Ellis Andrews at gold to gold. Performance in the final of the Kieran, that was confidence and control and power personified. And frankly, no one else had a chance. For those who are able to, for the penultimate stand time for now, the anthem of New Zealand. Of these games at the track, we're going to hear the national anthem of New Zealand. Michelle, how far can Elise Andrews go in uh, her chosen specialised subject of sprinting? Because what we see here suggests that she's going to take her place right at the top end of the sport, and she's already there. Yeah, absolutely. I think she can uh, dream about Olympic gold in the Kieran and the sprint. I think she can go that far. 